have had some big fires here in the past. People are constantly evacuated, mandatory evacuations in some neighborhoods. Does a homeowner's insurance policy address expenses related to mandatory evacuations? Does a homeowner's insurance policy like reimburse you for any of that? All of it. All of it? Yeah. I didn't know All that. of it. So important piece of information. In a catastrophe, and I'm only speaking from all yeah. state, so you have a $2,500 deductible on your homeowner's policy. You get uh, evacuated and it's considered a catastrophe claim. You're not responsible for that deductible, first and foremost. Okay. And a lot of people think they, they're limited to lodging and food. But anything after that claim is filed, anything you have to open your wallet for. Got to go to CVS to get a new toothbrush. I got to go to dry cleaning. All my work clothes smell like smoke. I got to go buy a new wardrobe. All that stuff can be reimbursable. The main thing is it's important to have a nice relationship with your agent or have an agent that's going to look out for you mm -hmm. more so than just looking out for your money coming right. in. Right. Like I said, like the mechanic analogy, like you, there's so much, so many moving parts to insurance that a lot of people don't know about that can make or break a, you know, a home sell or it can make or break me writing a policy simply because they didn't know or right. they heard something that right. was. Yeah. Or they see something online and just believe it for face value that, right. you know, that's yeah. interesting. I didn't know that. So that's good to know.